Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I want to walk through how to edit the slots in this particular design I'm working with. This is the half moon tiered shelf design and I've made videos on this topic before, but I just want to go ahead and do it again if it if it'll help somebody get it kind of cemented in their, in their mind, cemented in their mind how that works. Slots are fairly easy to adjust, but these are a little different. They're instead of being a closed slot, they're an open slot. And sometimes that messes with people's heads on how to adjust it. So we're going to do it together here. I'm using Adobe Illustrator, but you can use whatever you want. The principle is exactly the same. I just want you to get the principle of how to do this, and then you'll be able to do it just fine. So let's take a look at this file. And before we edit anything, I just want you to see what I've got going on here. You'll see that there are eight different open-ended slots like this one right here. And I want you to take a look at that for a minute. And that represents, in this particular design, that represents two pieces of material stacked together. So this is double the material width. Over here, I've got a sample slot that, that represents my material width, which is 0.214. And then I put this rectangle here that represents simply two of them stacked together. That's all that is. And if you were to take this uh, rectangle and turn it sideways, you would see that it is the same as this slot here. So that's what I've got going on there. So in this case, or in any case, the first thing you always do is grab your calipers and measure your material and make sure if it's got masking that you take the masking off of that corner that you're measuring because you don't want to measure the paper also. Measure your material and then take a look at that measurement and compare it to the slots here. And let's just say for this exercise, we're going to do it twice. Mine is 0.214. Let's say yours is, let's pick a number that's bigger and a number that's smaller. So I'm just going to write them over here so I don't forget. Let's say that one of these is uh, 0.20. Let's try that for one of them. And then let's say the other one is, I don't know, 0 0.23. 0 0.23. I'll just write those again because when I shoot videos, I tend to forget what I'm doing in the middle. It's so awesome. All right, so let's first of all adjust these for material that is thinner than mine, like the 0.2. So the first thing I'm going to do, once I have that information, I'm going to multiply that by 2, so it's 0.4. And uh, pause real quick. I'm going to go to outline mode, which on a Mac is uh, command Y, because that takes away the thickness of all of the uh, stroke so that you can see all the slots really clearly. So I'm going to take this rectangle right here, and I'm going to go ahead and change it to 0.4 wide, all right, 0.4. Now it's 0.4 wide, and I'm just going to drag it down to where this slot is. Let me zoom in and let you see what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you two ways to adjust this, okay? The first way is using Pathfinder in uh, Illustrator, and the second way is moving the nodes themselves. I'll show you, first of all, um, moving the nodes, and by the way, uh, when when you're wanting to make the slot smaller than it currently is, Pathfinder won't work. We're just going to move the nodes. I'll show you the other way in just a minute. So what I'm going to do first is take this uh, rectangle that's representing the stack of two of my pieces of material, and I'm just going to put it uh, in the center of this slot as best I can. It's not critical that it's exactly the, sa the, the center, but, you know, get it pretty close. Uh, let's Let's call... Let's call about that center, all right? And now I'm going to go up to my direct selection tool, which is the white arrow up here. And I'm going to click this first node on the left. And I'm going to hold shift down and click the one below it so that it selects those two together. Now I'm going to start dragging it toward the rectangle that I have there. And I can hold shift down while I'm dragging so that nothing changes angles, okay? And then I can click this one, hold shift down and click the other one, start dragging and push shift. And now I've got this slot exactly the size that I need it to be. And I can go around and do all eight slots just like that. And it'll probably take me less than two minutes to adjust all eight doing it that way. So let's undo and let's try something different because that's how to do it if your material is more um, thin more thin, I'm having word problems today, thinner than what the, the uh, slots in the design were made for. Let's say that your material is like, say, what did we say, 2.23, I think? Um, yeah, 0.23. So in this case, we're going to double that again because this is a double uh, slot. So point to, uh, 
four six. So I'm going to make my uh, rectangle here point four six, and now we're going to zoom back in here again, and now I'm going to line it back up here. And there are two ways to do this. Also, you can line it up just like this, and you can move the nodes like you did before. But the way I like to do it better, at least in Illustrator for sure, I'm going to first copy this. Uh, shape to my clipboard because I'm going to need to use it a couple times. So I'm going to line it up where I want it and then select both the shape and the rectangle. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. I got the shape and the rectangle. And then I'm going to go down here to Pathfinder minus front. And what that's going to do is it's going to cut that rectangle out of the bigger uh, shape. Boom. And now that's perfectly just what I wanted it to be. I'm going to go down here to this next one, paste my rectangle back in. Align it here as best I can, just about like that. Select them both, Pathfinder minus front, boom, that one's done. And I just work my way around all of them. That will take me probably less than 60 seconds to do all of them. So that's the other way that you can edit the slots when they're open like that. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. But until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one.